Hello wonderful person, this is Anton, and in today's video we're going to take another trip to yet another beautiful location in Space Engine, all in 360, so if you're using a smartphone you can actually look around and see what you would really see if you were inside a spaceship. Now in this 360 video we're going to slowly escape our solar system, you can kind of see us moving away from our Earth. And then we're going to visit another galaxy where, in 1997, scientists for the first time detected a perfect example of a Type II supernova. Now this location is known as SN1997D, and you can also discover it in Space Engine as well. And it was created by a large star, very likely anywhere between 10 to 40 masses of our sun, that has reached the end of its life and had no more power left on the inside to hold the matter from collapsing. All of this mass eventually started to shrink and then almost instantly violently exploded and created a huge supernova that we were able to detect in 1997. We call this type of a supernova Type 2, because if you actually look at its color and its chemical spectrum, you can detect a lot of hydrogen that was released from this type of an explosion. But not all supernova have hydrogen and many different stars can explode for other reasons too. However, where we're going, the supernova has already disappeared. And at first scientists thought that maybe a neutron star was left behind the supernova that we can actually detect using various X-ray detectors. This of course would suggest to us that the star that explored was approximately 8 to 10 masses of the sun and unfortunately there was nothing left to detect. The scientists looked and looked and they found nothing. There was nothing. Or was there? We are now approaching the object that was left behind. A comparatively small black hole that is about 3 masses of our sun. Very small in size, but so powerful that if you were to actually approach the black hole a little bit closer, as we're actually doing right now, you would eventually be stretched into thin spaghetti and die a horrible death. We're going to pass next to the event horizon, touching the surface of it, so you can actually see what it would look like if you actually got that close in reality. And this black hole is too small to have its accretion disk, and as you can see, this black hole is essentially just that, it's a black hole. It doesn't have any accretion disk, it's too small to have one, and it will very likely remain undetected for a very, very long time. We will probably never see it. And looks like we survived the adventure. Or did we? Let's go for another closer look. Let's find out what's inside. Now I'm going to come from another angle and move into the black hole. It's going to be right in front of you as we approach it and as we pass through the event horizon, if you look to your left or to your right and then possibly behind you, you'll be able to see the universe closing and disappearing forever. You will never be able to go back now. Welcome to your new home.